The episode begins with Liv once again troubled by what she must do. They had a plan and now that David had been captured the plan had gone to waste. At this rate, she has no idea how she can actually get her family free from the captivity of the crows. Liv goes to visit David in the prison cell, the same cell where Grietta was once placed. He tells her that the next day he would be taken to the capital, and he would be executed. He explains that General Cameron wanted to make peace with the crows and perhaps unite all lands in Europa. Liv thinks that this is a good thing but David reminds her that the crows would never do such a thing and would lure the Crimsons to their doom. David tells her that it's up to her to save the world and the Crimsons hope now she has to murder the general and free him. Elsewhere, Keanu has now become a faithful servant to Vivara. He starts to offer himself to her by his own choice so that he can earn her trust. One day after the two sleep together, he asks Vivara what it takes for one to become part of the Bodge. However, Vivara tells him that the information is of no use to him. Regardless, Keanu insists that he has what it takes to be part of the Bodge. In order to prove that Keanu was nowhere near the level, Vivara decides to spar with him. She lets him choose any weapon of his choice and commands him to attack her but even after multiple open attempts the boy fails to land a single hit. Instead, Vivara pins him to the floor and points her dagger to his neck. You fear death, she tells him crows do not fear death. In the underground bar of the Southern Empire, both Elja and Moses are gutted that they had been swindled by Bracker. Moses has already given up and decides to just spend the rest of his time drinking. But Elja still has hope that they can retrieve the cube. His determination changes Moses' perspective, and the man decides to attempt to steal the cube once more. Moses then starts to slander Bracker inside the club and also purposely insults the guards. Soon the guards come after him to teach him a lesson and this gives Elja the opportunity to sneak into Bracker's base. The cube is lying on the table unprotected and Elja heads to swipe it but Bracker was on his toes. He knew that Moses and Elja would try to reclaim it and was prepared. Soon the guards arrive once more with Moses, Elja is captured as well. Keanu, who is now the favorite slave of Vivara is taken to Ivar's palace so that Vivara can present the reports of her findings. On their way, Keanu expresses that Vivara is deserving of the position of High Lord and should get the post and Varvara seems hopeful that this visit will grant her the promotion. At the palace, Keanu realizes that his father is now a slave to Ivar and the father and son manage to sneak away to meet for a while. Keanu tells his father that he will be participating in the Bodge and claiming his freedom, after which he will come to save him. But his father warns him not to do anything as rash as that and to live his life. As long as he is alive it won't matter if he is free or not. Keanu however is adamant about the idea of freedom. The two father and son embrace and part ways. All of this is however seen by Duet. He intends to tell everything to Vivara. The meeting with Ivar on the other hand doesn't go as planned. Ivar tells Vivara that the ship that she found was useless and all its weapons were unusable. He even reprimands her for letting the cube get away from right under her nose. The man threatens her with her life if she cannot correct the situation and demotes her from the position of the seven lords under his command. That night is the first night after several days that Duet is called to Vivara's chambers instead of Keanu. Liv meets up with one of the soldiers still loyal to David named Sam, who hands her a feminine neurotoxin called Silurine. This would make the general dead after a few hours from a heart attack and everything would look natural. The general would call her to his chambers to talk about the prisoner, and that's when she plans to use the poison. As expected the general summons Liv to his room and thanks her for securing such a high-grade prisoner as Grietta. The general however starts talking about peace and how Crimsons have always thrived for peace. The more he talks the more Liv realizes the sense in the general's plan. There was no need for bloodshed if things could be achieved by peace. The man then offers to ask Ivar for her family in exchange for Grietta, and also asks her to accompany him to the Crow capital. Liv agrees and fails to poison the man out of her own will. She then goes to inform this to David, who is disappointed that she betrayed him however the man is not sad. He understands that she did what her ideals told her to and does not hold anything against her. Liv tells him that she will help him regardless, and that killing the general was not an option she wanted to take. She then heads out and before heading out with the general she tells Sam of the secret route she used to free Grietta which could be used to free David before it was too late. Elja and Moses are put to the floor and Bracker makes his men put a gun to Moses' head and demands that Elja tell him the truth. Elja then reveals that he actually got the cube when the Atlantean ship landed on his tribe's land. The Atlantean actually told him to get the cube to the Ark because it had sensitive information about Black December, a dangerous being that was killing everything in the east and was headed for Europa. The cube needed to be taken to the Ark and then and only then could the world be saved. He tells Bracker that he had lied to Moses and never wanted to sell the cube. 
He even shows him proof by enabling the cube which shows a hologram of the Black December heading to Europa. Bracker turns out to be holding the cube because he thought Moses was going to sell it to someone who would take advantage of it. After hearing Elja's story he lets him go with the cube with the promise that Elja would inform him about everything before anyone else. When Moses and Elja get out of the place, Moses is impressed by how great the lie was and goes away to enjoy with a woman while he can. Elja, on the other hand, heads outside and enables the cube. This time the cube gives him directions to the Ark's location. Elsewhere in Vavara's palace, Keanu is summoned to Vavara's chambers and finds Duet dead. His bloodied body lies on the bed and Vavara appears to enjoy the ordeal. She then comes to Keanu and tells him that she will offer him a choice. Either he kills himself or she will give him a death similar to that of Duet. Keanu has no choice but to take the blade and poke it into his chest. He starts pressing harder on the chest and finally decides to stab himself, but Vavara stops him. He was ready for the botch. On the other hand, Liv is placed in the same truck along with Grietta as they head for the crow capital. Grietta tries to unnerve Liv and explain that she would die soon as the crows will eventually take over the world. However, Liv has her own weapon against Grietta. She reminds her that there is no way she would be accepted by the crows after she was captured. Usually crows never end up prisoners and the fact that she didn't kill herself in captivity would make for an interesting discussion once she was returned. The group travels through Femin territory with one small obstacle before reaching the crow capital border. There they are apprehended by some crow soldiers, who are very reluctant to let them pass any further. However, when the general himself exits the vehicle, and tells them the purpose of his visit the crow allows them to pass through. As the general is shaking the man's hand telling him he is now a part of history, that will change the fate of Europa gunshots are heard. Soon firing begins and people are killed left and right. The general, Merle, and a lot of crow and crimson soldiers are killed. Liv quickly takes cover and releases Greta from her bonds. She tries to save her but Grietta gets shot. Liv doesn't give up regardless and drags her to take cover inside a random building. In the Southern Empire, as Elja is about to leave the place without Moses, he suddenly hears gunshots coming from inside. And out of nowhere, the cube turns into a gun. Elja slowly goes inside to see that some crow soldiers had destroyed the entire place. Bracker was heavily injured and Moses was being interrogated by the crows for Elja's location. The soldiers are about to kill him when suddenly Elja reveals himself and shoots one of the soldiers. He demands the other soldiers let Moses go. Just as Moses is released the cube's power runs out again and they are forced to run away. Moses is mad that Elja had lied to him all this time and never planned to sell the cube. However, Elja tells him that this is the only purpose he has left in life. He asks if Moses will accompany him to save the world and Moses agrees after thinking for a while. Now that Keanu was ready, he is taken to Ivar's city for his bodge. Ivara tells him that she too was once a slave like him and earned her freedom from a bodge. She fought a huge man named Bear and was almost killed when he started to choke her to death. She begged for mercy and the man took pity on her that's when she slit his throat and earned her freedom. She tells him to be ruthless like her, and that mercy was not something real crows have. The bodge is set and Keanu enters the ring with the blade given to him by Vivara. But he is shocked when he finds that his opponent is his own father. Keanu refuses to fight but Ivar tells him that if he doesn't both he and his father would be killed. Keanu still refuses and so his father provokes him intentionally kills himself by the hands of Keanu and saves his son. Keanu had earned his freedom and was now a crow, but at what cost? Liv and Grietta are in the abandoned house when a soldier comes towards them. It turns out to be David. The man asks Liv to come with him and help him form the new power in Europa. But Liv disagrees she still intends to get there using Grietta. David reluctantly lets her go and tells her to leave before the other crows appear. After he is gone, Liv drags Grietta outside to escape. But the blood loss eventually takes Grietta's life. Liv is broken and just sits there in the middle of the road hoping that she is killed. However, instead of crows, a group of Femin appears led by their leader Alia who asks if Liv wanted their help to escape. Alja and Moses follow the instructions from the cube to reach the ocean. There is no sign of the Ark and the cube runs out of power as well. Moses thinks it's best they return and sell the thing now that they know it was nothing but useless. But Alja is still adamant about staying. When Moses keeps pressuring him, Alja in his frustration throws the cube into the sea. The cube, however, doesn't fall into the ocean and floats instead and soon another massive cube appears from inside the ocean. A door to the cube opens and despite being filled with fear, Moses and Alja enter. Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.